I decided I didn't want a chair for this video. Uh, so, uh, uh, it's been a d difficult week this week. Uh, like, I've just been feeling angry for no real reason. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but a lot of times I'll have this, uh, like, pent-up anger or, or uh, energy, and I'll just kind of, like, go like this, or, or this, or s something. Uh, and it, it happens quite often. It, usually when, when I'm at home uh, alone. But my, my parents have noticed it. And, yeah, I, I can control it when I'm, well, I, I, I don't do it really when I'm out around other people. I, I don't know why I do it. I just really do it for no reason. Maybe I'll uh, see something on television or in the movies. Uh, I'll and it will just and it will just set me off. Like I don't know, uh, action movies, horror movies, which. I don't really, really watch, but if I do, that can get me going. Or I'll just think of something angry or, or uh, violent, which I don't, don't want to think about violent things, but I do, and I'll do it. And sometimes I'll, it'll, it'll, it'll be so much that I'll have to get up from sitting and kind of, kind of pace back and forth. Maybe, maybe I'll try and film it, film me doing this because it, it's hard for me to explain. Uh. But yeah, I've, I've kind of seen a, a couple other people with autism do do uh, stuff like what I do, but not to the extreme that I do it. And you know, just lately, I've been feeling more of it. I don't know why. Uh, and, you know, maybe, maybe it'll fade away, so some, sometimes I, I don't feel it at all, so, I um, yeah, I think, like, what really sets me off is when, uh, something unfair is happening or and or something out of my control and I, I just kind of kind of want to con control it or, or make it stop I think that's that's what happens but yeah, I don't want to do this. And uh, yeah, and you know, now my anger has kind of been bleeding over, bleeding, ble bleeding out into where now my parents notice it 
and 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 then they'll ask me what what's wrong and I'll say nothing because nothing is wrong nothing uh, nothing's uh, nothing bad happened to me so nothing wrong and so uh, <laughs> and they don't understand it I don't understand it <coughs> uh, excuse me maybe maybe med medication could help If it gets worse, then yeah, yeah, I'll ask my therapist about medication. And yeah, I've just been huff, arguing and fighting uh, recently with my parents just about my life because yeah I'm almost 25 and living at home with my mommy and daddy and not s supporting myself uh, or supporting myself very little <laughs> and yeah I don't like it they don't like it no one likes this I want it. I I do want to be out on my own somewhere. <clears throat> and then I've been out on my own. Uh, I've talked about uh, how I lived in Chicago and in Los Angeles on my own. Uh, uh, in in the dorms. Uh, apartment style dorms and I, I liked it I I did well I I you know I didn't ask my parents for any money at all uh, any extra money they you know they would give me some money whenever they, they saw me, like at Christmas. Uh, but I never had to call them up and ask them to send me more money. I, I didn't because cause I, I was responsible and didn't, uh, uh, didn't binge or buy it excessively on anything. I I watched my money closely. Mainly it was just food and books that I bought and but my parents they, they were the ones paying the, the bills for college. So I wasn't completely on my own. Yeah, I know things have to change, and I want them to change. I just don't know how to get them to change. Or... Or, uh, how to get them to change quickly or faster than they are. Because my job right now... Uh... Yeah, it's... Uh, just not enough. I can't seem to get more than two days a week working. So, like, my pay my paycheck, uh, I get paid every two weeks, so, uh, it, it's between 100 and $200, uh, for two weeks. And then I, I also get pay tips which depends on how busy the day is and usually it's between five and ten dollars 
each day at work. So basically just an extra 10 bucks a week. Uh, so like I'm bringing in around four hundred dollars a month and that's that's basically only enough for rent of an apartment building not uh not good for food unless i want to live off of pizza uh because i work in an all you can eat pizza buffet so I can just take home pizza and salad and, and pasta. Eat that every single day. Yeah, no. Uh, and and uh, like my mom, she reached out to this old friend that she has. Uh, and he works at a company that makes uh, the crosswalk buttons and the lights uh, it's like one of those things you see all the time but never think about never think about who makes those crosswalks those crosswalk buttons and lights never, never think about that and guy called me in for an interview and you know, talks about the job, which was basically, he, he called it a, a shop, shop rat, because <laughs> I'd just be like doing sweeping, cleaning, whatever else. So, and it, it sounded a lot like my nighttime janitor job I did, which was probably my worst job, worst job I ever did, because the, the boss, he, uh, he just wouldn't give you enough hours, he just expected you, you uh, me and this other guy to do the work in the time he said uh, so we had to clean six buildings a night, car company. Fortunately, four of them were right next to each other, but two of them were a, a little drive away and, and he, he didn't, the, my boss didn't factor in travel time. So we didn't get paid when we were driving to the locations uh, and and there were there were quite a few times where we were working for free because we didn't didn't finish before the time plus it, and plus it was at night so uh was working when I wanted to be sleeping. And with this job, it would be mostly during the day, but sometimes at night. And I, I just don't want to go back to that uh, time in my life, that part of my life. I won't, just want to get as far away from it as possible. But the, uh, the company seems fine and the guy's really nice and he said he also has a daughter with autism but more severe than I I have it than I have it oh, uh, damn I guess I should have went with the chair my ass is getting numb <laughs> uh, and, and uh, but Back to uh, him and his his daughter. She works there. He also has 
two sons, but uh, the daughter has like full blown autism, a lot more severe than I do. But and yeah, you know, I just kind of felt like I was just being offered this job because I have autism and uh, I don't want that. Uh, I, I don't want to get something just because I have autism or that I'm a man or that I'm I'm white. You know, I mean, t technically I'm, I'm part Asian because uh, I'm part Ru Russia, Russian, and since Russia is in Asia, I'm, I'm part Asian, but... You know, that, that, that's, a, that's a whole nother video, but yeah, and what, I mean, I, I, what I'm saying is I want to get something because I'm the most qualified person uh, for the job, and, and I've earned it. Uh... Uh, and I didn't feel like that was the case because cause, uh, the guy just never asked, like, uh, why do you want this? The, he didn't ask, like, the normal interview questions. Why do you want this job? Uh, what are your best qualifications? Can, uh, do you think you'd be able to perform the duties? Yeah, stuff like that. He he just never asked. He just kind of kind of asked, "What what are you doing now?" And and he explained the job and took me on a tour of the building, and that was it. But. But now, now my mom's all mad, cause, cause I, I, I don't want to do that job, and, and I didn't tell the guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like talking to people, so I especially don't like. Uh, telling people stuff they don't want to hear. So I was, she, she just said, yeah, I'm very disappointed in you. And she ended up emailing the guy and apologizing for me. But, uh, I just get f so full of fear and anxiety. Even if, even if it's just on the phone or in the email, I can't bring myself to do it. <sighs> so it's... So I'm feeling angry and pressured. Yeah. Yeah, and then that just makes me shut down. Makes me want, not want to talk or or look at anyone. My dog Lola is lying down uh, right behind my camera, and she's sleeping. And it, it looks like she's dreaming because I can see her her paws move a little bit and and her legs. But, uh, anyway, it's just been one of those weeks where you just wish you could skip over. So anyway, how, how was your week? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's all. Now I, now I just gotta go, go change my life and until next video